More on security now. The Inspector General of Police has asked the United States and other international partners to support the Nigerian police force. At a meeting with the Deputy Head of Missions of the United States, Mr. John Bray, IGP Suleiman Abba explained that this has become necessary as the federal government plans to recruit over 15,000 officers and men into the force. On his part, Mr. Bray gave the assurance that the U.S. will continue to support the Nigerian police, especially in its counterterrorism operations. And we have a very long historic relationship with your service here. We have always been able to depend upon you. Uh, and hopefully you've been able to, to depend on us. Uh, we look forward to continuing the good relationships we have into the future. Uh, which include uh, anti-terrorism assistance training. Uh, we've done a lot to work with your uh, explosive ordnance teams in the north. Uh, we've done a lot of help with your investigative teams, and we hope to continue this cooperative relationship. I hope this will not only continue, but uh, will continue to strengthen this relationship in these particular areas, and perhaps in other areas that uh, have not been exploited such as the community policing. Mm -hmm. uh, that was commenced very long ago, and uh, I must say that uh, I'm not too happy with the state of things as far as community policing is concerned. I'm sure this is one area that um, I will be putting a lot of, uh, if you like, call it pressure mm -hmm. on the mission. Uh, to ensure that um, um, that is fully resuscitated so that um, uh, we benefit uh, immensely from it. Uh, several efforts are being made, in particular by the president government, to reform the Nigeria police so that we meet or we get close to achieving the requirements in both. I'm aware there is approval already in terms of um, recruiting more personnel for the Nigeria police. And this, we hope, will come in soon. Whatever will benefit in this kind of mutual uh, gathering, will uh, get it and uh, make sure that uh, it's done for the benefit of every Nigerian. And in fact, for the benefit of all the people living in Nigeria.